Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial by LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to talk about the Python Decimal Module. Uh, this is not going to be a full in-depth uh, tutorial on the Decimal Module. This is just going to show you how to work with some floating point numbers and fix issues with floating point numbers. We will eventually do a full tutorial on the uh, Decimal Module which will probably be a couple videos long. So this one's just to focus on fixing some floating point number issues that we saw in the previous tutorials. Um, and I apologize if you hear my son in the background. He finally found his voice, so now he's making all types of noises, so I apologize. All right, first thing we need to do is look at an example of an issue that we had in the previous tutorial. 7.6 plus 8.7 hit return. We get 16.3. 299999. Should be 16.3, correct? So let's go ahead and use decimal to fix this. Let's do import decimal, hit return. So we just imported the decimal module. Now we're going to go decimal dot decimal and do 7.6 parentheses plus decimal dot decimal parentheses 8.7 hit return and you're like wait a second that that doesn't look right I want 16.3 well we have to do a little adjustment but we'll talk about that in a second um you see this number here this is broke around it so it fits into either 32 bit or 64 bit this number here is the actual number that the fractions given us. We talked about before that with Python, Python's built on top of C language, so numbers, floating point numbers go um, from a from the Python language as a floating point number to C language as a fraction, and then back to the Python num uh, program as a floating point number. So the conversion from fraction to floating point number is not always accurate, and that's why we need to use this decimal module to fix this issue. So we're looking at this, this doesn't look right. We didn't fix it yet, correct? So first thing we need to do is find out what the precision is set, the default precision set in the decimal module. To do that, we do decimal, get context, hit return. Right here, P-R-E-C -E -E is the precision. 28 numbers, show me 28 numbers it's saying. Well, in our case, we only want to see three numbers. So to fix this, we do decimal, dot get context parentheses PREC equal to three hit return now let's do decimal get context parentheses return and precision's at three all right cool so we set it to three now we should get three numbers decimal dot decimal seven point six plus Decimal dot decimal eight point seven hit return sixteen point three. So the precision it's gonna take the it's gonna go left to right and it's gonna go count three numbers. Six so it's gonna go one, two, period or the decimal doesn't count as a number, and then three, and then it's gonna round up for that. So you get sixteen point three. Cool, we fixed that issue. But I don't want mine returning saying decimal 16.3. Well, we fix that with print parentheses. We'll just copy this one. We'll paste it down here. Put another parenthesis around it. Hit return 16.3. Cool. All right, so clear that. Now, let's look at another issue. How about if we do. Let's do decimal dot decimal. Um, plus decimal dot decimal. Eighty-seven point nine. Hit return. One hundred sixty-six. Well, that number doesn't look right. Well, that's because we set the precision to three. So what we can do is use an exception statement, a with statement. We haven't discuss, discussed these in 
in uh, any of our tutorials yet. We will eventually get to them, but just follow along here. What we're going to do is tempor temporarily change the precision so we can get this number to work. So we do width decimal dot local context parentheses as and we're going to set the local context function to a variable of ctx we hit return two spaces ctx dot prec equal to four so we just set the precision to four temporarily we'll take this one i'm too lazy to type it out again so i'll just copy it and if you don't know how to copy you just highlight it hit command c and to paste it, it's command v hit return hit return one more time there's our number decimal once and then we get 166.5 alright to show you that this is just a temporary fix right here for just this equation we'll take that previous equation paste paste it here hit return and we get 166 again that's only a temporary fix that's not so good for us either so what happens if we want just two decimal points like say we're working with money we got uh, we got a uh, an accounting software that we're working on and how can we fix that well we're going to use quantitize well let me since we changed some of the settings I'm going to close out my terminal here I'll open it back up because we changed some settings I don't you know I want it to work properly so Python 3 hit return let's do import decimal again and now we're going to do a is equal to decimal dot decimal and we're going to do 78.96 times 89.55 so now we call a and we get this huge number that's not what we want this is the money that our client owes us or something and we want it to stop right here all right so we're going to use quantize so we're going to do a dot Q U A N T I Z E. And then we're going to use parentheses decimal dot decimal. Zero point zero zero. And close out parentheses. So we got parentheses here, parentheses here, and then parentheses here. Notice this is a string. For this to work, it needs to be a string. So I'm going to hit return, and there we go. We quantized. So what's this string say? It says this is how we want our numbers shown. We want two numbers after decimal point and numerous numbers beforehand. So it shows it as a number. All right. So say I don't want the decimal. I want it to print to the screen what, um, what it is without the decimal. So we can do that too. We can just do a print. Take this. Copy it, like that, there, one more parenthesis around it, hit return, there you go. There's your number. So quantize gives us a more exact um, number here. So um, and it's a little bit better than precision because precision, we have to pick in the amount of numbers we want to show. And if we pick Say we pick six, we'll get this number, all right? But if we picked seven, because some of our numbers might be tens of thousands, and we pick seven, well, we're going to get the number to here, okay? You know, follow what I'm saying? So quantize gives us the ability to say stop here and round. Um, and our last example, let's look at... The other day we did round two point six seven five the second return two point six seven. Well crap. That should be two point six eight, correct? This should round up. Well, let's look at that number. Let's do decimal dot decimal. Parentheses 2.675, close out the parentheses, hit return. This is why it doesn't round up. 
it's 2.674, so it's rounding down. Well, that's no good for us. So how can we fix this? Well, we can do this. Let's do, let's do b is equal to, and since I'm lazy, we're going to take this, copy this, paste it here, hit return. Now we just set it as a variable. And now we can do b dot quantize, always have trouble spelling that word, decimal dot decimal. And we got to use our string with our number format that we want. Close that out. And then we're going to tell it to rounding. We're going to give it a command to round up. Round up. Like this. Close that out. Turn. Nope. Something. Oh. If you don't know, you can bring your code back up by pressing the up button. We're at the decimal here. Hit return. There we go. Awesome. Now we got 2.68. And it rounded up. That's another way to work with uh, quantize. As we've seen, round doesn't work. So decimal might be our way to go when we're working with tough floating point numbers. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Um, we'll see you in the next one. We'll go back to a little bit simpler numbers and math in our next tutorial and work our way back through the numbers tutorial. Like I said before, that we wanted to um, get this out of the way because when you start working with math and you start getting funky numbers, you know, you might get really confused or discouraged in learning Python. So we wanted to get it out of the way. Um, throughout the tutorials, if we come up with some funky numbers like that, we'll, we'll actually dig in and use um, the round building function or the decimal module to get these numbers to work correctly. So in our next tutorial, it's just going to be basic addition and something called concatenation. So we'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a nice day.